Hey everybody, um, so I have some extremely exciting news. Um, so as you may have seen in some of the videos or heard, uh, we do have chickens, uh, a couple of roosters and about six or seven hens uh, that just showed up on the property and we've gotten into a really, really good uh, system with these chickens. And by that, what I mean is at about 6.30 every morning, they absolutely come right up to our tent and they just make a bunch of noise. One of the uh, hens even tries to jump uh, at the net like it's like scratching against it. I'm pretty sure she's learned that she can't get in, but I also think she's learned that she can wake us up a little easier. And um, the other thing is that if, when Caitlin's alarm goes off about 6.30 in the morning, it's like a herd of chickens will, will approach. It's actually pretty awesome. But what's been really interesting is that one of the chickens has decided to create a nest. Now, this location used to house our generator, our electrical generator, uh, but we moved it because we should be getting cinder uh, pretty soon. The solar panels were right there and they're moved a little bit uh, further back into the property so they're safe and out of, out of sight. Uh, but this, uh, under this tarp, um, is a chicken's nest. I wanted to go show it to you because it's there's a little couple miracles happening in there. Let's see if okay. Ah, ha ha ha! What's that? Some eggies. So there's five eggs there. Now the hen that is making those eggs is the one that we call BB. Uh, she's with uh, one of the other roosters and I don't see her around where I'd point her out. I see Maggie, Maggie over there. Uh, and then there is Minnie. They're always kind of around. Um, but basically, uh, Caitlin and I noticed that BB, the hen, was hovering around the tarp a lot, and we didn't really understand what was going on. We just assumed that there was like a frog or a centipede or a worm. I don't know, just something in there that they were hungry for. Um, and then one day, we lifted up the tarp to get into our generator, and she flew out of the tarp. We had no idea she was in there, and she's been nesting. She's actually creating a nest. I started off with just two eggs and then it's become five. So um, we're making sure to try to give her a little bit more food. Uh, but Caitlin was reading up on it and the reason that she's not actually in the nest sitting on the eggs, apparently what hens will do is they will actually um, get to a point where they've got a certain amount of eggs and then they'll nest. So they can have a, a nest size as large as seven eggs total. Um, we're at five right now. BB still hasn't decided to stay there, but basically, um, we're thinking that she's just getting ready to, uh, nest. She had her fifth egg yesterday, and I, it kind of seems like it's about every two, two or three days that she pops an egg out, so it's definitely, um, it, it definitely seems like she's getting ready to do this, and she's created that nest, so I'm very excited. Uh, we'll have some chicks running around soon, and this is a really close nest to the actual tent, if you can tell. Uh, it's mere steps away, um, but I'm very excited because it will allow us uh, the ability to kind of hear the chicks and um, I guess just be able to kind of watch them. Um, another chicken of ours, well not ours, but another chicken on the property uh, that we named Penny. She had a few chicks and she actually did stop by one time and it... She, it almost seemed like she was kind of like trying to find some food for us, but also the chicks. And then, um, oh, there's Fufa. Uh, hi, Fufa. Uh, but I haven't seen her since, so it'll be nice to kind of have this experience with BB, and hopefully she stays nearby and doesn't go wandering off into the woods. I think, you know, things do change. But anyway, um, that's very exciting, and I just wanted to share it with you guys uh, because I think it's extremely cool. Uh, we didn't have to really do anything. Caitlin and I have talked about um, a chicken coop multiple times before, uh, but it's just not really high on the priority list. 
Um, see, this is actually kind of where we moved our solar panels to. Um, it's, this is the back side of the tent over here. So there's just a really nice loop around. Um, let's take a look back here. So this is where we're going to be moving our home. And uh, we've started to kind of create a trail with these um, dead ohia tree. So this umbrella tree, this big tree that's here in the center, um, will have to go. It does seem like it's uh, fairly unhealthy um, because it has almost no actual leaves to speak of. But we are planning on relocating our tent to this location. Um, I've already removed countless stumps. And here are some of the trees that we cut down. I've built another berm wall over there, which a berm is just a stacking of the trees. And my goal is to actually build a perimeter around this. And the reason is, is because you can actually see the neighbor's house kind of peeking through. Uh, they're, they're fairly quiet, um, but there's no sense in uh, uh, letting them see straight through to our home. But yeah, this is where we're going to be going. Um, I'm very excited because uh, we have been discovering orchids left and right. Um, They're everywhere on this property. Uh, this area will also be better because it has a really nice draft. And I got to tell you, that's, that's something to be desired. We really need that draft. It kind of keeps things cool instead of stagnant where we are now. It's not too bad where we are, but this month has been extremely wet in terms of rain. Um, oh yeah, we planted a sour sop which it was a nice surprise from Caitlin. Um, she found that at the, uh, at the grocery store and decided to grab it, and I was happy to oblige. Um, another reason that I'm excited is because this post right here, this is a Ohia that was dead. Hi, Maggie. Excuse me. We're gonna put a nice little sign here, and uh, we've decided to call our home Homewood. Um, and it'll just be a nice little marker to our home. Say hi to Fufa. Fufa, ho, oh. oh. He's a good boy. So yeah, that's the good news. The, the chicken uh, has had her eggs. Um, there are five in there right now. Every two or three days, she's pumping another one out. Um, the house area that we're going to be moving to is going to be... Um, basically we're going to have the ability to actually do that pretty soon. And that's pretty much it. Mahalo for watching you guys. Don't forget to put any questions you might have in the comment section. Uh, if you feel like I, I maybe am missing something or you'd like me to embellish on something I've already said, I would be more than happy to. Don't forget to just subscribe and I hope everybody's having a good day. Thanks guys.